So if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you remember that I reviewed the Steam Deck. This is the transparency cover as well. I just love playing Steam games, but there are certain limitations. There are some games that you can't play on this console, as you all know. But if I want to play some classic arcade games, I'll reach out to the Ambernic RG35 xxh and beauty about this device is that you can play the uh, portrait mode as well but i still felt this huge void that i want to fill in and last year as we all know playstation has released the playstation portal i was trying to get the first batch but unfortunately all these scalpers have been wiping out the availability for unreasonable way uh, but i managed to get the second batch chance to buy one from the playstation store so here we have it folks very excited to do the unboxing so today what i'm going to do is since final fantasy 7 rebirth has come out i want to play on my mobile phone hotspot data to see whether we can play a decent quality on the Final Fantasy Rebirth on my PlayStation Portal. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing and try it out, shall we? So we cut here, also here. We've got to pull this one out. Okay, we've got all the wirings here. Ah, this is just only one USB-C to a USB-C. And this is the actual product and a simple instruction a manual very good weight very thin monitor as well the usb-c charging and it's an extension of the playstation i mean it's exactly the same feel of the playstation 5 controller volume up and down r1 and r2 bit of a speaker here and there interesting symbol here and a power button and i believe that's the audio jack you can see that there's the thickness difference this one is more slender the playstation main button because of the screen we got it on the left hand side silent mic is on the right hand side now these toggle button as you can see that's the difference okay asmr nice playstation logo popping up so the volume is in max and i have to say i'm fairly disappointed All right just like any other device is actually asking you to download the latest uh, software update one thing i do like about the decoration side is that you can see this blue lighting all the way from top to bottom but i have to say the actual craftsmanship of this whole device is just seamless look at that that is really impressive the Japanese craftsmanship has been applied really well on this device, especially if you look at this line here of the joint. It says connect to a PlayStation 5 to play. So let's press the select a PlayStation 5 and it automatically detects through the Wi-Fi connection. So I need to just click on that. So verify you can connect to your PlayStation 5. So continue going to the quick menu to easily change the settings. So there's the PlayStation 5 and there's the symbol. So I noticed that symbol early on that goes on to the top. So this is for the headset. Look at that. That is really cool. So here we have it, folks. We're all connected and it's working pretty fine so far. And I can see there's a bit of a slight delay on the reaction of what I press on comparing to the TV screen. That is pretty good, almost perfect, but uh, sometimes you will sense this sort of a bit delay response. For example, if I were to play actually twice, sometimes it actually reacts slightly late to your pressings if you want to watch your dvd through the portal it doesn't work okay so it actually says that you know you can't display the screen on the connected console you can only watch through your tv that is quite annoying actually right so if you go to accessories on the settings general and bluetooth accessories it would be quite nice to be able to connect the sony the same brand xm5 headphones through the bluetooth but hey it's not the end of the world you can always inject the jack on the bottom of the unit and you're all good to go but come on it's actually same sony premium headphones please sony give us a slack will you right so we got a download speed of 13.5 megabytes and an upload speed of 2.76 for the hotspot and it's currently connected to the final fantasy rebirth as you can see, there's a bit of a lag happening 
both on the motion and the music as well so if you can handle these sort of delays then i guess you'll be fine but if you're more like want something that is really up to speed really sharp then um, if you're younger generation especially i can handle this actually uh, because i get things done but if you are not up for it this will be the example for such speed this is the Tekken 7 on the hotspot connection. Is it playable? Well, I don't know. It's a bit slow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, yeah, sort of 50 50 on this, really, because, um, yeah, that's my favorite combo. Well, okay, it gets it delivered, but yeah. So, again, it's doable if you can handle the uh, lagging and bit of a sound as well i think it's pretty cool just the idea of playing your playstation 5 anywhere uh, with a hotspot is fantastic isn't it i have to say this is really good isn't it like there's hardly any stalls of response when you actually move around and so on so that's really good but with regards to this settings um you can really enjoy your games no doubt for the final fantasy 7 rebirth so well done for that yeah that's pretty good isn't it there's very very minor sort of delay of a response but it's almost perfect uh so yeah you're, you're not going to have any struggle uh playing on tekken 7 and i'm pretty sure it's going to be same for tekken 8 which i'm soon gonna buy as well but I just want to share my experience with you regards to fighting game. Yeah, you're not going to have any issue. So well done for that. So if you were to compare the screen size against the Steam Deck, though it appears that uh, they are almost the same uh, from the reflection of the bezel, the uh, PlayStation Portal is a bigger screen. So that's really good. And also the sharpness of the screen is very impressive as well. So overall experience is that if you have a good internet speed connection, again, I have 300 megabytes per second download uh, speed at my home. So there's no sort of delay whatsoever. Very sharp, very good experience. So it's fantastic. But if you want to go through the um, hotspot uh, experience, which mine is about 30 megabytes per second, there was those uh, slight delays here on and off. I guess uh, a lot of young uh, gamers will find that very frustrating, but I'm a bit of an old school. I actually have gone through that uh, stage in my life. So it's actually bringing me the good memories of the way how it was. Uh, so I wouldn't mind actually playing it on a hotspot, but uh, what I would recommend is that make sure if you want to play it outdoor, outside your home, is that uh, connect to the wireless, which is recommended, uh, to have a decent speed, at least probably like 20 to 30 megabytes, then I think it will be okay. Uh, that's what I want to say. But yeah, I mean, overall, this will save my marriage because uh, there are ongoing dispute on which day my wife or my daughter is allowed to watch Netflix or any of those K-dramas and stuff and which day am I allowed to play gaming. But we can do this simultaneously just by buying this 199 uh, pounds valued uh, handheld device so i'm really pleased with it um, and i hope this video clarified what this playstation portal is and how the hotspot works and so on but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lzp tech all the best bye bye